start with our warm-ups and see where we go from there. So sitting bones down, hips nice and open, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get your core activated with those ribs towards your spine and lifting towards your heart so that that back is nicely supported. Shoulders back and down and just relax your arms and wrists and reach your crown toward the ceiling. Spread your toes out, breathe in, focusing on energy coming in and exhaling stress and tension. And as you're keeping that inner yoga focus, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out, keeping those shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and breathe. Pivot over as you exhale. Just bring your head down toward your legs and your hands up toward the ceiling. Move your chin around to get that neck released a little bit. And then bend your knees slightly. And then work from the bottom of your spine, rounding all the way back up. And again, into the back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, head stretching away. Take a moment to breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms. And again, just take a moment noticing how you are responding today. And same thing, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the other way behind you. Once more, lift your heart and stretch the spine out as you're in the back bend, and then pivot over. Take a moment and lift those arms, getting your shoulders moving a little more. And again, knees slightly bent as you wind all the way back to the top. Lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, stretch your whole spine. And on an inhalation, come upright, releasing. We'll do our sides next. So one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away. Everything nice and straight, facing the front, lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. You can look up toward that arm in the air so you're not leaning forward. Inhale to the top and release. And bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Shoulders down as you stretch the hands apart and lean to the other side. And again, make sure you're not leaning forward. Slide that hand down as far as it wants to go along the leg. Just reach the head and hands away. Inhale up. And again, back into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down a couple of times, just releasing any stress across your upper body. And bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your spine apart for a twist, and exhale to one side. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, pivot over in the twist. Deepen as much as you'd like on this side. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. And inhale your way up in the twist. Lift your heart, pull your elbows back and your shoulders down. And just breathe in that upper body back bend, being gentle on the low back while you're twisting. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders stay down as you switch your arms around. And again, lengthen that spine and twist to the other side. Breathe in and exhale over. Take a moment, checking whether your weight is still on both feet evenly. And then inhaling, again, work your way up in the twist into that upper body for your back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest high. Don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down as you extend up through the fingertips in an extended mountain. Head reaching toward the ceiling, sitting bones down, just feel that whole body lengthen. And then swan dive forward, arms at, at shoulder level, come halfway to the floor. 
Stretch everything straight and then drop into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just breathing. Slide your hands up under your knees. Press into your shins just gently as you stretch everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Pop that down, bend your knees slightly. And again, start at the bottom of your spine to wind your way back all the way up. And shoulders circling a couple of times, coming back into mountain pose. And then circle the shoulders one at a time, both ways. Just getting things a little bit more loosened up in that upper back and body. Swing gently side to side. Keep that spine stretching apart. So crown toward the ceiling, evenly into your feet. Sitting bones down, base of the skull and base of the spine, stretching apart. Just moving with your hands one side to the other. And then back to the center, our back stroke. Bringing those arms near your ears as they circle up and around and back. And just feel the whole spine as well as just the shoulders and arms working. And then both arms up, up on one side, coming up on the opposite toe. So the heel is lifted on the side and straight, sinking down on the side you're stretching. Feel those ribs really open. Exhale that side down. Inhale the other arm. Maximize that stretch. Release it. Do it again on that first side. And exhale it down. Inhale once more up. And both feet down, both arms up, arms by your ears. Clasp your hands, press the palms toward the ceiling. Shoulder, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. And crown and palms reaching up. Sink evenly into your feet. Keep the arms by your ears. Push out through the palms as you pivot at your hips. And again, come parallel to the floor. Stretch it out. Inhale back up. And when you get to the top, switch your fingers one position over. It'll feel weird, that's okay. And again, elbows straight, body straight, sitting bones, shoulders, everything down. Except the crown and the palms reach up. And again, pivot at your hips, push forward through the palms, arms by your ears, and you come parallel to the floor or so. Stretch it out, lengthening. And again, inhale, coming back up. Shoulders still down. And then release back into mountain pose. And let's circle those shoulders again, just to get that circulation going. And release. Turn your toes slightly out so your whole leg turns, so your knee still goes toward your second toes. Bend your knees slightly, hands above your knees, we're gonna do our twist. So remember, stretch the spine apart, take one shoulder over toward the opposite knee as you turn your whole body to look toward that side. Push the spinning bones back behind you and turn your whole body, not just your neck. So hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning toward the side. Keep lengthening out through the neck, out through the crown. Exhale, return to the center. Stretch it out again long and twist to the other side. Shoulder coming across toward the knee, hip, ribs, shoulder, everything turning and looking toward the opposite side. Take a breath, stretch it out, maximizing or minimizing, remember, personal practice. And then again, back to the center. Round slightly as you come back up and turn your feet back to the front and to mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment. Notice the circulation through your body and where things are activated and what else you want some attention today. Spread your toes, bring your arms out, put your thumbs into your palms, fingers wrap just gently around, turn one palm up and the other one down, keep your arms at shoulder level, keep pushing out through those stiff, down with your shoulders and shoulder blades and sitting bones, up with your crown, 
And then turn the fist the other way. Keep pushing out and just rotate one fist up, one down. Pushing out, lengthening through the spine the whole time. Keep that core activated, supporting your spine, no slumping. And then bring your lower arm into it all the way up to the elbow, also turning. And then add the upper arm, getting a little bit more range of motion there through that full length of your arm. And then really bring the shoulders into it. So when the fist goes down, the shoulder comes forward. When it goes up, the shoulder goes slightly back. And just really emphasizing through the shoulders while you push through the fist, up through the crown, keeping that back nice and straight and supported with your core. And even with those feet, spreading your toes, not gripping, just really getting that whole upper body into that motion. And then releasing from the spine out, through the shoulders less, just the arms, just the lower arms, just the fifth. And then bring both fifth palms to the floor, spread your fingers out. Spread it out even further, and then shake it out and release. Feel that whole circulation through that upper body as you release that range of motion and intensity. Take a moment and breathe as you bring your hands to your heart. With shoulder, shoulder blades down. Look at your hands, inhaling toward the ceiling. And then keep looking at your thumbs as you bring the hands back behind you, lifting your heart, stretching the back of your neck out through the crown as you come into a back bend, as much or little as you want. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, drop down into random. Hands under your knees on the shins in that halfway up stretch, the elbows, knees, spine straight. Give a good stretch. Exhale, slightly bending your knees, arms dropping toward the floor, and again, palms together, sitting bones down as you wind back all the way up, hands to your heart. Oh, let's go into another little back bend, lifting those hands, pulling the thumbs, hands back, lifting your heart, stretching your whole spine. Exhale, hands to your chest, and again, release into mountain pose. Take a moment there, feel your body, release those shoulders, relax those arms, and reach your head toward the ceiling. Keep those toes spreading, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, keep the shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Okay, keep the arms there, right next to your ears. Keep everything straight facing the front. We're going into our squat chair position. So go ahead, sitting bones back behind you and just deepen into your squat. Spine stays straight, arms by your ears. Sitting bones and crown reach away from each other. Bend the knees as much as you want, but make sure they don't go beyond your toes. Push your sitting bones further back so that they don't. Stretch it out. And then fingertips leading, come on back up. Still shoulders down as you get back into extended mountain. Palms out, arms to shoulder level, and then back into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling a little more circulation there. Take a breath. Exhale, and step wide. So toes to the front, ankles, knees, Hips lined up, core active, supporting you. Stretch the spine apart, we're doing another twist. Thumbs to that hip crease right at the top of your thighs. Pivot, lead with your chest coming forward. And come about parallel to the floor, sitting bones and crimes, stretch apart. And slide your hands down towards your ankles. You can leave your hands on your shins. We can drop them under your shoulders to the floor, fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. Or if you've got a block or a book, you can bring the floor up. So we're going to do a twist. Stretch that spine apart so it can twist. Keep your right hand either on your leg or the floor. Bring your left arm out to the side and look at it. So we're turning the whole body, remember, as you look toward that hand. 
the hips, ribs, and shoulder, everything turn, not just your neck, as you look toward that hand above you. Stretch, opening the spine, lengthening sitting bones and crown away from each other. Just feel that twist through your whole body. And then exhale, follow that hand back to the side and down either to the floor or your shins. Stretch long in the spine, lift the sitting bones. Exhale, maybe deepen with that pivot at your hips. And this time, left hand stays down. Spine stretches apart. Follow the right hand to the side and then palm open as you look toward the side, turning your whole body, looking up toward that hand as it goes above you, more or less. Stretch it out. Twist as much or as little, remember, as your body needs. Personal practice always. Stretch the spine apart. Feel that twist through the whole length of your spine. And then follow the hand back to the side and back down toward the floor for your shins. Lengthen again. Take a moment and breathe. And then if your hands are on your shins, you can bend your knees if you need to. Bring your hands to the floor. We're going to walk out in front slightly. So a little mini kind of wide-legged down dog, not quite. Pull your chest back toward the space between your legs, arms by your ears. Stretch the head and sitting bones away from each other. And then walk your hands back toward your body. Bring your hands to your ankles and slide up as you head it back to the top into mountain pose. Just take a moment feeling all of that circulation through your body. And hands to your heart once more. Look at your hands, follow them up. Another nice back bend, looking at your thumbs as you pull them back and lifting your heart. Stretch that neck, don't crunch it. Exhale, pivot back over into ragdoll. Deepen with the hands behind the legs, pull up a little bit more on the back of your body, and then back to the center, bend your knees, and come to the floor into child's pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Knees together, get a good stretch on the back of your body. And then inhaling, sit up and slide off, coming into staff position. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Relax those shoulders back and down. Keep that core supporting your spine. And your neck can pat a little behind you if you need that little pelvic opening. And then let's, uh, let's just do a cross leg position. If you're not comfortable cross leg, you can keep the legs out in staff position. And of course, we're creatures of habit, so go ahead, switch those legs around because we always do the same side first. So go ahead, sitting bones behind you, core active, shoulders relaxing right above your hips, round to the ceiling, keep stretching that back of your neck. And bring one hand out, palm toward the floor. Bring your thumb in and make a little fist. Push way out through that. So this is your bulb of your flower. And we are going to do the National Geographic time release bulb bursting into flower position. So this really tightens and tightens there out in front of you. And then we're going to let those petal fingers release just gently, slowly, doing what's right in your body as you incrementally release those petals, just like the flowers do. As the fingers get released more and more, you can start straightening them out, just keeping those shoulders relaxing, crown reaching up, shoulders and shoulder blades still towards your waist. Spread those fingers as they get all the way out, really spread them where I feel that all the way across the hand. And then pivot at your wrist, push out through the hand as you bring that flower up toward the sun. Push it out a little more, keep those shoulders releasing down, and shake your hand. And take a moment as those petals just drop back to your lap. 
Feel that whole side of your body. It wasn't just the wrist that was working or the fingers. It was that whole side. Notice that. And then switch your legs because we like to balance things. And we're going to, of course, work the other hand. So hand out, thumb into your palm, fingers wrapped around, and then tighten those fingers into that little bud. Really tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Tighten it more. Keep pushing after that fist. Keep that shoulder, though, going down. Keep the head reaching up. This shoulder relaxed as well. And then when you're ready and your butt is ready to burst, just begin releasing those finger pedals. Just gently, slowly. Remember, you're that time release photo on National Geographic as those flowers start to bloom. Breathing, stretching those pedal fingers out as you get unwound. Spreading the fingers, really feeling that whole hand working as you do that. Stretching it, really working, and then pivoting. Pivoting at the wrist, bringing that flower to face up toward the sun and the sky. Shoulders relaxing, spine stretching apart. Palm open, and let those petals release. Flower just releasing back down. Take a moment as you get back into your seated position. And then we're going to come up onto our knees. So if you need to pad, remember you can pad by folding over your mat or putting a little cushion under your knees. We're going to come way up. Knees, hips, shoulders lined up, shoulders back and down. And then bring one hand out. Um, Pulling back toward you with that back of the wrist working to stretch away from you. Shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist, crown toward the ceiling. And just feel that stretch through the wrist. Keep pushing it out. And then pull the fingers back and push the bottom of your wrist out. Stretch it. Keep those shoulders so relaxing. Keep that core supporting your spine. And then spread those fingers parallel to the floor and push each one down one at a time, working across the back of your hand. And then pulling the back, feeling the palm get a little more stretch. And again, whenever you're done with all those, just spread those fingers a little bit more and circle the wrist both ways and shake that whole arm. Feel the difference. So yeah, you've got to balance that. So if you need a little break on your knees, you can roll back onto your feet and lift the knees, stretching the front of your ankles as well. And then come on back all the way up. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, core active, crown to the ceiling. And in your kneeling position, again, bring that hand parallel to the floor. Pull it down, push out through the back of the wrist. Take a moment there. Just feel what's going on through your arm and wrist and hand. And then pull the fingers back, push that wrist away from you. At the heel of the palm, shoulders and shoulder blades still down, crown still reaching up, core still active. Never forget all the other stuff too while we're focusing on one part. And then hand to the floor, parallel to the floor again, and push each finger down. Just feeling what goes on across the back of your hand and then across the palm as you pull the other way, coming back. Hands still at shoulder level, spread those fingers out and place one of them. And then circle the wrist both ways. And then shake that whole arm out and release. Sink back on your heels. And again, roll onto your toes, lifting the knees, getting those ankles stretching a little bit as well. And then coming just onto your sitting bones back by your heels. If you've got position that's too tight on your knees, remember you can put some padding between your calves and thighs or your hips and heels. 
and release that knee pressure all over there. We're going to clasp the hands and press them away. Bring them up right above your shoulders. And pressing out through the palms, keep the shoulders going down towards your waist. And then hands again to the front. Turn the hands so that they the wrists are going, the back of the wrists are going out and the palms face you. And again, pushing out, bring those hands back up. Keep pushing out through the base of the wrists. And back to the front. Switch your fingers one position over. Press out again. Bring your hands up, shoulders down, core active. And again, back to the center. Turn them in. Press out through the backs of the wrists. Bring those hands up. And back to the center, shoulders still down, and release. And again, circle those wrists. Circle the shoulders. Take a breath. Just exhale and release any tension. And then bring the hands into prayer position in front of you. Bring the fingertips out and down. Feel the sides of the wrist getting a little stretch there. And then back fingertips up. And then rotate the fingertips toward you, pushing the elbows slightly out, palms toward each other slightly, fingertips coming toward your heart. And then fingertips straight up, release those elbows. Look at your hands and bring them toward the ceiling. Oh, another little kneeling back bend. Swan dive from the shoulders. Bring your chest forward toward the forearms, straight out to the sides. And then back into your kneeling position. Slide off, bring your feet to the front toward the end of the mat. Then you bounce behind you. And then pick up one leg, knees straight, circle the foot both ways. Now, after kneeling on that, that's kind of tight sometimes. And bring that leg down. Feel the difference. Do the other one. Keep that core active, supporting your spine, shoulders above your hips. Again, circling that leg with the knee just off the floor, leg just off the floor as much as feels okay for you. Circling that ankle both ways. And bringing it down. Sitting bones behind you, core active, begin rolling slowly down to the neck. As you get to a slightly reclined position, just pause for that activity in your abdominal area to be noticeable. And then just roll the rest of your body all the way down. And then take a moment to release any tension in that belly. Hands out to T position for our twist. Let's just do our bent knee twist. So sitting bones toward your heels and your heels in near your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. Notice those ankles, how that feels today. Maybe a little different. Bring your knees up above your hips, feet off the floor. Just roll the knees over to one side as you turn and look toward the opposite side. So remember, personal practice always on those twists. Knees over for the lower back, head turning for the neck area, and hands either palms up or down to make sure that shoulders and shoulder blades stay on the floor for your middle back twist. You who love the lower back twist, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow or extend your feet out toward your hands if you like a little bit more low back work, but you know, don't do that if you don't need that today. Take a breath, exhale any tension, just let that twist maximize or minimize whatever is working in your body today. When you're ready to release, the heels come back toward your hips and roll onto your back, straighten things out, and we're just going to roll the knees to the opposite side. Head turning toward that other arm, again, shoulder, shoulder blades down, Maximize or minimize for your body in this position. Or if you like that low back to work more, knees toward your elbow, or feet extending straight out. 
always personal practice, especially on the twist. Never ever force a twist. Exhale. Let those ligaments release even more as they're ready to do so. Just deepening as much or as little as your body needs today. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Bring the feet to the floor. Spin the way up along the mat. Toes together. Just release those hips, letting the legs relax completely. Hands, palms up slightly away from your hips, letting those shoulders and shoulder blades sink deeper into that surface beneath you. And just let your body go, feeling it growing heavier, sinking into that earth support beneath you. Deep breath. Just exhale, let it grow really heavy. Sink deep into that earth embrace and let your body go. Soften your jaw, maybe circle it around, scrunch your face, let everything relax through your neck and shoulders, face. Deep breath in, belly soft, exhale, the whole body just sinking deeper with each exhalation. And just let your body sink into that earth support. And allow your awareness to release your body. And release any new thoughts coming to your mind as well. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. As you stop thinking about your body, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them disappear as easily as your breath without attention to the content. Breathing in, breathing out. Thoughts flowing in, flowing out. No need to pay attention to anything today. Just let it all go. Deep breaths. Thoughts releasing. Body relaxing. And just allow your awareness to find the peace deep within. Focus on the peace. Feeling your body. Feeling your mind. And just be peace. And let yourself keep relaxing as long as you have to have an opportunity to go. Good time to get ready for the rest of your day. Again, drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more, just move your body gently, however feels right for you. And with each increasing breath, just stretch more fully and breathe more deeply. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones up towards your heels and your knees up towards your hands, your heart. Stretch and breathe, wrapping your arms around however feels right for you today. And let your body know you appreciate its yoga work. The body's work for you every day. And when you're ready to release your hug and appreciation, Bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.